a bunch of soda, many more. Over hill and highway, the banana buggies go. Coming up to bring you the banana split show. Making up a mess of fun. Making up a mess of fun. Lots of fun for Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dave Young. It's my perspective, and today I have two guests. I have Vice Chair Bob Cohn and Peter Brown. Thank you. You know, it's, I appreciate this. So, guys, uh, around the town, well, right now we hear negativity. Today, I want to talk about the positives that are happening in this town. I, uh, I see improvements happening. I've watched Selectmen, and I, I, I see improvements that are happening. So anyway, this is literally, I'm, I'm going to ask you an open question. What's happening that's positive in this town so we can get away from the negatives? Who do you want to start? Either one. Can I start by saying thank you for having us, first thank off? You. No, yeah. thank you. Hello to the residents. Uh, this might be a great opportunity to, for us to share some of the things that have been going on that yeah. often we don't get a chance to talk right. about. No, um, I agree. I'd like to start by saying that uh, the exciting things that are happening have, have actually just taken place recently um, at several uh, meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Mr. Cohen wants to talk about the, the financing that we just ap were approved, and I think that's a, a, a vital uh, subject to talk about. But yes. I'd like to start by saying that I have seen a big difference in the actual workforce and going into town hall and mm -hmm. talking with employees there seems to be a buzz around the town that people are really excited about the potential um yes that's what i've heard and, and, and things of that nature so yes i'm proud to say i think that change is good because we made the change at the town yes. manager's office yes uh, well that's good as a as a resident if i call or go there i I want I want an answer. I want people to to help, and not feel that if they do anything, there's a problem. So uh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that people aren't on edge. So thank you for that. <laughs> sure, Bob might want to start talking about okay. the extra. First of all, thank well, you for having us. Uh, it's a pleasure. Uh, we're here to talk all about the good things. Good. And there are plenty of good things happening in this town. Yes. First, I'm going to start off with the school financing of the new high school. Yes. About two months ago, our town manager reorganized our financial force. Mm -hmm. And he appointed a financial group together to go over our town financing, to go over our bonding rating. And this took months and months. They contacted the bonding company, the girl that was sent to us, had 41 years experience with the town of Stoughton. Wow. So she was well versed of what went on in the town of Stoughton. Thank God we've made some changes over the course of the years mm -hmm. um, with the way we collect, the way we do things in this town, and it all came together. They worked tremendous hours. I'm talking from eight, sometimes till nine, 10. The bonding company came back and asked for things that was being done. They did everything. The mm -hmm. bonding rating came out. They put this out. First, the bonding rating came out. It was 3.2. 3 it came back at 2.2, which we picked up a sizable amount. Let's talk about the percentage. The bonding yeah. rating. Yep. The yes. rating came back very good that this town is in mm -hmm. financially very good shape. It went out to bid. And by the way, this was all started by the town manager. Knowing that this was going to happen, mm -hmm. he started in advance getting this ready. And we, they were talking about, should we vo put this in as, as we go along? The bonds went out, and we got an interest rate of 2.65. And according to the woman that did this bonding for us, it's the best that anyone has got in a long time and the bonds took an hour to bid. So it goes to show you 10 people bid mm -hmm. on these bonds. The bonds were gone in less than an hour. Gone, one person bid it, there were 10 in the operations. We borrowed 80, $84 million. And part of that $84 was consolidating all our short-term debt, rubbish trucks, police cruises, and things like that, 
and Friday morning they cut a check for $18 million, mm -hmm. and we owe nothing on debt right now short term. That's we great. We have $75 million left that is sitting in the bank collecting 1.3 interest every month. What they've done now is looking to see how the payments are going to be made in the course of the next two years. So maybe we can go into long-term mm -hmm. investments. We cannot exceed, we are interest-free 2.65. When we go beyond that, we have to pay taxes. Well, even if we do this, we're going to receive quite a bit of money back. Just imagine even 1.3 of $74 million is a lot of money. So yes. we have done this right. Uh, the town manager made a bold decision, take it all right now, put it in the bank, and we will have the money. You will never get this interest rate again. Can I add something to that? Bob? Sure, go ahead. One, one of the things about that is when, when the school building committee was talking about the financing of the actual school, yes. the, new, the new school, um, it was all great information and everybody was trying to get an idea of what the payment would be to the actual taxpayer. Yes. Um, when Mr. Anastas came in, I will say prior to Mr. Anastas, there's, there was no financing going on. Um, there was actually no pursuit of those, those numbers, although they are accurate in terms of what the school building committee was presenting, yes. um, there really wasn't any way to gauge what the case was. Yes. So people like myself, who's just a regular you know, working Joe, was trying to determine what my taxes was gonna go yes, up. Exactly. So what happened was is that when Mr. Anastas assembled a finance team, they yep. reorganized, they put together Mr. Rowe, uh, Paula, uh, um, Sue, mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, a, yeah. a team, Mr. Gibbons, I don't want to leave anyone out because they did a great job. They presented this the other day at the Board of Selectmen meeting, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, where they, their efforts, they put together this whole package. In addition, mm -hmm. we had to vote on policies. Um, we had to adopt, the Board of Selectmen had to adopt. They were, they were never written policies in place for finance and prior to the other day. But that being said, tied up with a lot of the um, um, presentation, they were able, the town was able to, to get a number and borrow at one particular time. For example, yeah. I think the initial plan was that they were going to borrow over the course of years Three and it would mm -hmm. constantly be a revolving thing. Yeah. They, they were talking about 3.5. The savings come out to 6.5 million dollars on this mm -hmm. bold move. That's over and above of what we're yes. not going to have to pay That's back. correct. Yes. So and we benefit six and a half million by taking the bond at, at, mm -hmm. at one time or the, or the borrowing all at once. Yes. So it will give the residents, which is important, yes. the idea of what their bill will be for the next 20 years. Yes. So that's, that's important to know, but that's, there's a yes. lot A lot of taxpayers are, you know, they're concerned because we don't know. Right. And that's one of the issues we have is I watch the selectmen meetings. I've watched uh, the school meetings regarding the building. And it comes down to is a lot of people don't know. Right. And thank but, you and but, the town manager, Steve, for putting it together so that we as residents know what's coming down the pipe. Well, if you watched the meeting the other day, the, 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 the young lady that Bob was referring to, um, I think her name was Sin... Cinder. 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 She came, she was a, basically a consultant finance, representing a financial she, firm. She represents our bonding company that we have bonded with for 41 years. Correct. And she, nice. along with this team, worked. Now, there are a lot of moving parts. Oh, yeah. You have, to th you have to recognize the finance committee. You have to recognize the board of selectmen. You have to recognize a town meeting because yes. the reports I read were that and such that the town has been managed extremely well. Mm -hmm. That's, you have to give credit to the finance committee for that because they're the oversight on yep. finance and then they did a, they did a little a good job at, I'm not going to individually point to this person or yes. that one who did it, but there was a collective effort across the board, yes. but Mr. Anastas and his team was the actual one who put this in place and because of his team, we're in a great shape financially today. We, uh, both our rating, uh, the Moody rating was right. a double A3 um, mm -hmm. under the previous town manager, because of all that work and the presentation, it went to a double A, two, so that's a step up. And Good. the S&P, which we never had a rating from, yeah. also issued a rating of a double A. Yes, so financing is, is going well. Now we have concerns because every year, you know, you, you have to balance yes. the budget. 
We don't I have know. the luxury of what the Washington, <laughs> D.C. has. And I know. Just, yes. <laughs> just to well, it's good that you, you balance the budget because I don't like the idea of seeing the town borrow and borrow and borrow and borrow. Because hmm. I remember last year filming one of the uh, like FinCom meetings that we, we were like $2 million in the hole before we even came to town meeting. Yeah. And that's a concern because we don't need to function that way. Hmm. And but it sounds forgot, like you guys are... You forgot uh, one thing, Dave. What? The big question on this whole 2.2 was there was $800,000 in the NRRA. With the help of our Public Works Department, mm -hmm. we've got every well running right now. We borrowed, yep. we used very little NRRA trickling through just to make sure if we had to open the water. There was $800,000, and I kept telling my friend, on the chairman of the FinCom, yep. don't worry about it. And he, he does a great job managing the money and counting and doing this. He does yes. do a good job. Yeah, the fin we, FinCom, yes. We they're, don't they're always a agree. hell of a group, and we, it's all volunteers. It is, is all amazing. volunteers, to include high And group. you guys that's are volunteers. Correct. So yeah. that's, volunteers. Sometimes yeah. it's thankless. There's no course for you guys when you run for select and, and then you become, yeah. there's no course you can take, so it's One of hard. The things, and if I can touch upon that, you're right. Um, Becoming a selectman, I don't know of any course. No. Um, I think the best way to go about it is you get yourself involved in town meeting, you serve yes. in a, a committee or whatever the case is. I, I'm not saying there's a, 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 an absolute recipe, but to me it worked out because I got involved in town meeting. Yep. I became a member in FinCom, and then I ran one unsuccessful mm -hmm. attempt. And then I ran another time as a writing candidate and won. But I'll tell you what, a lot of the information comes from your colleagues, Yep. People that have been on the board yes. that can that are willing to share and teach. Yes, uh, Mr. And McCriskey yep. was a huge help to me. Yep. Um, and and then the town manager. Yeah. Excuse me. You have to put a lot of trust in the town manager. Yes. Because the town manager oversees the day to day operations. Yes. Sees it board of selectmen have no role whatsoever. Now right. this board, our board, is a little more active. We don't meddle and we don't overstep our authority, but we're more right. active because we're around more often. Mr. Cohn, Mr. Souza, yep. myself. I can't speak for the other gentlemen, but what they do in terms yes. of timing. But it's, it's important because we can kind of learn the issues. Yes. Um, you be, well, you're, you're more informed. One, one other thing. Well, yes. You've never had three selectmen retired, retired, and a gentleman that works at night. David works at night. Yeah. So when you get a call from a resident, We'll be down to visit you. If it's something that we have to do, most 90% of the time it can be done over the phone with the town people yeah. to a town department. And it works. And they get to see us, too. Right. But we that's are, only to hear the complaints. The employees do the work. Right. That's, the department heads handle it. They're, they're great. And that's why it's important yeah. to talk about the employees because, first off, they run the town. All right? Yes. Yeah, they, they they're do. out yeah. there doing the work. And from what I can see and what I observe, uh, it's a special time right now in Stoughton. You want to talk about good things that are going on in Stoughton? Oh, yes. I, I, I have a tremendous list. First off, you could talk about the new high school. That yep. wasn't one or two people. That was a collective good. There was a, an, overall, an overall majority of people that voted yep. to, to fund and, and yeah. to pursue the high school. We got a new library going in, yep. uh, completely state-of-the-art. We have a um, lighting system I know Bob wants to touch, touch upon. Mm -hmm. Code enforcement is something that this board has seen too. There's a lot of issues that are, that go on throughout the town. Yes. We have been certain to pursue. One of the things that I have been a stickler for, I, I always look at it ways to bring in additional revenue. Innovative, mm -hmm. way, innovative ways that yeah. can bring in money to help offset the cost of the taxpayer. Right. So one of the things we looked at is land. Stoughton owns $65 million in land. Now that's yes. some structures are on a lot of those properties mm -hmm. but there are a lot of properties that are just sitting there that we have looked at and i want to i suggested the other day um i want to create a property land identification right. committee does this does this do you not agree with this one or is it no no i i, I agree I, I i know we we have a lot of land mm -hmm. and we're not and when it's not generating revenue right and it's just sitting there and yeah i what you're doing, I think, is right. Right. To see what we can get rid of, what we should keep, and, and, and get, that brings money the into town, the town. Uh, the town of Stoughton isn't in the real estate business. Exactly. We're in the business to service the customers, which is 
the taxpayers of this town. That's thank you. Who we as a taxpayer, thank you. I agree. I have to thank you as well. Because I watch. Thank you. I thank watch. You. <laughs> Unlike everybody, I get the tax bill, and I swear. I, I mean, just like everybody. Well, I want to. I want to. But we, it, it. Getting. It's stay, easier stay. when you know that it's it's going to good things. Right. Then you're like, because we have to. Taxpayers have to pay. What are the three primary things that the people moving to a town want to know? How's the schools? Right. Yep. You have to have a great school system. Yes, we do. Followed by public, public safety, safety. Yep. right? Yes. Public safety has been, an, we believe, that that's been an area that has been ignored in this town for far too long, until yes. recently. Yes. When I've had conversations with the chiefs, okay. and he, yes, that, you know, it's been lacking. Well, talking about the chiefs, we lost a great chief mm -hmm. back yep. in February of 2016. We put in place from within... There were yep. some people that weren't enthusiastic about hiring from within. This board supported hiring support from within. That. We put in the first female chief, and she's yep. doing an excellent job. I'm sure most people yes. will agree. We have an excellent fire chief. Yep. We have what we believe an excellent interim town manager as, yes. as we speak. These decisions, although we really weren't involved in the, the fire chief, we, su right. we support it, but the decisions of appointing... Um, Mr. Anastas yes. and Chief McNamara were the sole responsibility of the board. And sometimes decisions aren't y the easiest. Yes. You know, oh, yeah. You know what went on. Everybody knows what went on yes. in the town regarding the changing of the town manager. Yes. Let, let's simply state it. Um, the town manager outlived this contract, and yep. on the 30th of June, we did yep. not renew it. Yes, Simple and I think what you that. did was right. I know Simple Steve. I remember a community forum when he hosted it back in Easton, and I had to give him this, this symbol to stretch it. He was talking mm -hmm. to Judge Crimmins, and since then I talked with him, and yes, he's a, he's a nice guy, very intelligent. He knows his stuff. And he probably doesn't want to host community forum, and I understand that. <laughs> but, Who does? Uh, yeah. We leave that to the experts. I know. So. So, but he is. He is a nice guy, and, 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 part and he of, cares. And part of that is you needed to hire someone that understood this town. Exactly. Not a stranger coming in. Yeah. Understood what you have to face, <laughs> what are you going to come down with, and exactly. how are we going to fix the problem. So yeah. far, Mr. Anassas, you can just hear him every week giving his report, telling the people what is going on in this town. I never heard that in the two and a half years or the two yeah. years, 2.3 years, yep. I've been on the board. So he's telling the people. Now, if you don't want to hear it, but everyone I've talked to are very, very informed. They're very impressed with the man. Yes. And it's all I just hear. He has no experience. Well, he does have experience. He has experience in business. Yes. And this will is, you I can tell you four town meetings, and I go back 30, 42 years in this town, and I can tell you five of them that had no experience at all and came to this job. One was Mr. Phil Farrington. We're going mm -hmm. way back. Phil Farrington came here as a teacher at Norwood High School, spent 19 years here, mm. and did an excellent job. Excellent. Yeah. And wasn't afraid to stand up at town meeting and tell you how he felt. And it was because right. he lived in the town and he cared. All of us care about it. Every yes. one of these selectmen here, I don't care who it is, we all yes. care about this town. Oh, yeah. I love the town. I mean, I was up at Glen Echo. I was walking up there. Glen Echo. It's a subject that was just recently on our agenda. There was some discussion about Glen Echo and where it stood. We purchased the property in yeah. 2011. Um, to say that it's been tough over the last several years, what was going to go on there would be an mm -hmm. understatement. However, uh, last week, yeah. under the direction of Mr. Anastas, he Excuse instructed... Excuse me, Peter. Yeah. On the orders of the Board of Selectmen, go clean up this problem. It's going nowhere. This has been a problem. The it's not going nowhere. We right. gave him the lift. Go find a solution to this because everyone wants a recreation. Everyone yes. thinks certain people are trying to stall it. We want the thing done. Mm -hmm. Well, Glen Echo has, was a project that uh, was a $1.2 million project that the town yep. was promised would be a recreational area for all the residents to enjoy. So yes. when it was purchased in 2011, there were some big plans. They were stalled. They weren't yep. stalled by anybody's doing here in the town. Okay. There wasn't any one particular committee or the Board of Selectmen. 
that was something that came up last town meeting that the Board of Selectmen was stopping um, anything from being done. That was entirely not true. Board of Selectmen recently, as Bob just pointed out, asked the town manager to get this thing moving because yep. there was some committees working on it that were trying to get something done. But what, what authority they have, we, don't, we still yeah, don't know. That's, but that's true, the good yes. news is the town manager instructed Mark Tisdale, the engineer, along with okay. um, Forrest Linwell, a lot of people know yes. Mr. Linwell, he's an active member and does a lot of things. The town, they met with DCR officials last week and mm -hmm. they have resolved the Glen Echo issues. So now Glen Echo can be moved forward on. No more, Good. we don't need any politicians, we don't need to send letters to any, Good. anybody. Glen Echo can now be pursued and will be under the direction of the gentleman, Mark Tisdale, and uh, employees that will get ready to do Good. what they got to do. Um, yes. That is some, something that, yeah. that should be w one acknowledged. Other, one other thing Please. there too. It's all being done in-house. Correct. So you don't have to go out and hire an engineering firm. Whatever they did, they went up there, hmm. and I understand it's going to be the aerial, and by the way, the engineering department, if you haven't seen, is well equipped to do a lot of things and have done a lot of things to save this town a lot of money. This is one of them where it's going to save the town a lot of money, and we can get going on this. Mm -hmm. That's what the main thing is, to get the project moving forward. There were yes. restrictions and uncertainty, and there were some questions about the survey, but that problem is now rectified. And by the way, we're, we're not here to defend the hiring of Steve Anastas as interim. I will tell you this, leadership is yes. a tough thing. You have to, let me just say simple, it's not about putting ads or talking points in a newspaper. It's not about getting up at meetings and trying to point out that this issue or that issue. It's mm -hmm. more about having the courage and the good, I guess, um, all factors involved to make the decision. It's sometimes yes. a difficult decisions and sometimes they're not popular. Right. But it is what it is and at the end of the day you're trying, or at least I know I do, I try to make the decision that is going to best mm -hmm. serve the interest of Stoughton. Yes. That's why I became a town rep. And, and I think... So and that's why I vote no. I'm like the lone, the lone vote no. So, yes, so you're I, a no vote across the board? Well some things I vote no. Because I, like you guys, I, I think of everybody. Mm -hmm. The seniors down to the little babies, the families. I think of everything in the town. And sometimes you have to make the tough decisions. You guys make tough decisions. Whether people like it or not, the decision has to be made. Mm -hmm. there, there's another thing here going back to the financing. We finance the schools. Mm -hmm. Some of these seniors, when they retired, the only thing you could live off of Social Security. Well, things have changed over the course of the years. I retired. I have backup. I, I could never live on my Social Security, but these poor people do. Right. And you hear it all the time. I get phone call after phone call. Mr. Cohn, what can we do? We are working on something. There's a couple of things that are being trying to be done. We want to make sure it's legal what we're doing. Mm -hmm to help the seniors, but the seniors yes. are going to have to fill out some forms. There'll be people in place that will understand their problem. A lot of people don't understand. You go back 10, 12 years ago, no one had 401s, no one had this. They basically, and Social Security was a lot more generous than they are now. Uh, but anyone that thinks you can live on Social Security you can't. No, you can't. It's well, very, very difficult today. It is. It's one extremely of the, difficult. One of the things that Town of Stoughton needs to do is we need to find and work, and I had offered um, with a couple of the seniors that come to our meetings regularly, they're, they're concerned, and one of the things I was concerned of when I ran a couple of years ago was that there was, there was a off and on what they call the delinquent tax. Yes, yes. And when I was doing a little research on that, I, I was told that a lot of the people that go on these and these, this, this this list, if you will, uh, people that own their homes outright but can't mm -hmm. continue or keep up can't with the tax. the tax base. So what I'd yes. like to do, and then they come off, they make some payments and whatnot. So I, I was saying, we missed an, a golden opportunity a couple of years ago when there was a proposal to put a nice elderly, dignified living center uh, housing yes. unit in this town. Town meeting didn't support it, and for whatever reason, it never got passed. Mm -hmm. This is something that I would like to see happen, mm -hmm. is that we, not public housing, a private senior 
Living Center that people that may not want to leave Stoughton or people that want to stay in Stoughton but don't want to live in their ho big homes anymore because it might just be one or two people at home, that they can kind of move on to the, that yes. nice living and then that house can be sold at, for making way for maybe younger people want to come in or whatever. Not to right. kick our seniors out, but to give opportunity by providing a, a, a private net. The best way to do it would be a private public type of project, which is, yeah, that's, I think, we need to look more at. Yes, we need, to, we need to look at what we can do as a town to, to help the seniors. They helped build it. They, they lived here for years and years and years. You just don't kick them out by Absolutely raising the not. taxes. Absolutely. So I think about that all the time, mm -hmm. that you know, they, they helped build the town. They deserve the opportunity to stay in this town. And if they need to, like you're saying, consolidate, move, relocate within the town, mm -hmm. because I want, I want the grandparents, the parents, the kids, I want the whole family to be able to move to this town and be united. Well, there's, sometimes, there's something often, something's often, in my opinion, misrepresented. Like some people say, well, they, the seniors, they can afford it or they don't want to reveal this or disclose that. I don't necessarily agree with that. No. I would say sometimes there might be a pride factor. Maybe some people don't want to announce that they can't publicly afford right. their house any longer and that they didn't want to move yes, in. I, so I, let's provide them an opportunity by doing something as, as the right. neighboring community we are. Because Stoughton is a great community. It and is. Staten, Stoughton, Staten, that, that, where'd that come from? He lost his teeth. <laughs> Stoughton, yes. <laughs> I don't have any of those to lose. <clears throat> it's okay. No. But Stoughton is a great community, and, yes. and, and there are wonderful things happening. I, I can't think of anything negative other than the fact that we're dealing with a December 5th recall right. election, which to me is a, is a negative. Yes. It's not, it's not something that was done out of a necessity. It was done out of, in my opinion, um, maybe anger. Mm -hmm. Maybe anger. You want yeah. to comment on that, or you don't? You want to talk about that, or no? No, I've I've seen it, and I, I well, I, I I filmed the court. I, you know, in looking at it, I'm on the charter review committee. I I looked. I was there at the meeting. I I think it's uh, I think it's wrong. That's why I'm I'm for the no recall because I've talked with you guys. I've been informed. I think, it's, I think it's just what you said. Also here is, I'm the guy that's running in April. So I'm running now, I'm running in April, and to be truth with you, I read those charges. And I'm asking the person that wrote that to please tell me what I'm charged with. Because I still can't figure it out. And that's gone to people in high places and they can't figure it out. And on the Charter Review Committee, maybe it's time to go over these things. We have a charter that's outdated, out yep. of line, and should be brought up to date. Mm -hmm. Help here. Guys, a little help. Don't run the music. Call 911. Guys.